According to the table, a bacterium has a mass of about 10 to the power of negative 15 kilograms. So to find out how many protons or neutrons are in a bacterium, we take the mass of a proton or a neutron and divide that into the mass of the bacterium. So you can kind of think of it like another chain link conversion where one proton or neutron is equal to 10 to the power of negative 27 kilograms. I kind of don't like the way I abbreviated that. But anyway, put that into a calculator and you get 10 to the power of 12. Now for part B, we can see that the mass of the DNA molecule, according to our table, is 10 to the power of negative 17 kilograms. Now again, we divide that by the mass of the proton or a neutron, which is 10 to the power of negative 27. Put that into a calculator, and we get 10 to the power of 10 protons or neutrons. Now for part C, for a human, which has a mass of 10 to the power of 2 kilograms, divide that by 10 to the power of negative 27, and we get 10 to the power of 29 protons or neutrons. And finally, part D, 10 to the power of 41 is the mass of the galaxy. We divide by 10 to the power of negative 27, and that gives us 10 to the power of 68. That's it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.